Dory. Hi, I'm Dee. And I'm Dory. And uh, Nate is helping his dad right now outside because Dee had a little storm damage. Only there wasn't a storm that night. <laughs> no, no, there wasn't. <laughs> no storm, but the no, damage was there. The damage was there. Yeah. We had one of our big old trees decided to oh. end its life. And so it fell. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it was not in anybody's bedroom. So everybody yeah. was safe because it happened in the middle of the night. Yeah. But uh, so Nate's out there helping his daddy. Yeah, <laughs> with all that stuff. So that's that's why he's not here. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to our channel. I think you said that, right? Um, I don't know. Well, that was five seconds ago. <laughs> okay. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you decided to join us today. And we've got some exciting information and pattern reviews to share with you today. Yes. Our challenge, I'll just briefly mention it and yeah. we'll discuss it later. <laughs> yeah. Our challenge was to make something we didn't know what each other was going to make, but to put some embellishment on it. Yeah, tops, actually. I think we did say tops, but I'm not sure. It could have been anything. <laughs> but at any rate, it was supposed to have an embellishment. Yeah, which I failed miserably, you can see. No embellishment, nothing. <laughs> I have embellishments, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> First, we have to do an inspirational saying. This is from that book um, that I have from Dollar Tree, You Are um, Beyond Measure Loved, is the name of the book. And I thought I would share this particular one. It's by an author everybody knows. Yeah? Well, author Unknown. Oh. Everybody knows the Unknown I know author. the Unknown author. <laughs> it says, when you love and laugh abundantly, you live a beautiful life. Very nice. Yeah, isn't that nice? That is nice. Yeah. yeah. So, just remember to keep laughing <laughs> and keep loving. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah. So, yes. Who's going first? Uh, so, I made McCall's M7325. And I... Combined a couple of views. I made view A, but I made it the length of view D. Oh, okay. Now you're starting to do what I do. Yes. So <laughs> I just, you know, I wanted the, the sleeves to be open like they are. Yes, I like that. Look but, too. but I wanted it longer. I didn't want it so short. So this is what I ended up with. And uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, I think it's really cute. When I did the embellishment, which you'll see more of it in the video, um, I didn't like just the white. I actually liked it better without the embellishments. But that was the challenge. But the challenge was to use embellishment. So I was like, how do I rip this off? No, I got to think of something else to do. So at first I had just the white on it, and I didn't like it with just the white. To me, it made it look like a pajama top. That's what I thought. I, yeah, I was thinking with the white. Pajamas, pajamas all the way. So mm -hmm. I found Lounge some room. of this blue that I added yeah. to offset the white. And I think it doesn't look like pajama tops anymore. At least I'm hoping that. And then I put a button, which I've got a close-up. I'm going to pin right in here so you can see that close-up of how I put the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah. I Very put three nice. buttons on. Now, there's a reason why I did three. Because, um, sorry, car going by. <laughs> okay. Um, I did three because um, things look better when they're grouped in an odd number. Yes, they do. Rather than an even number. And if any of you are Latvians out there, <laughs> my husband is Latvian and we lived in Latvia for three years. And one thing that they had there is that you never gave like two flowers or four flowers. It was either one or three or five. You always really? gave it in odd numbers. And did they have a reason behind that? Well, it looks better. <laughs> okay. So if you're an odd person, just <laughs> let me know. Let me tell you, you look better. <laughs> okay, right? right. No? Yes. yes. <laughs> anyway, that's why I put three buttons on because okay, yeah. things look better grouped in threes. Yes. I like that. That was cute. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, it's a cute little top. Yeah. Very cute. So, um, the fabric's I, nice, too. I like it. The fabric. It. Oh, yeah. I got the fabric. This fabric was from Hobby Lobby uh, last year. Oh, I got it okay. on clearance. And um, it was a breeze to work with. Good. Just very nice. Really nice. When easy gathering was very easy with this fabric. I really liked the fabric. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I had originally thought I was going to make a, a jumpsuit. Out of that? Oh, okay. But okay. Didn't happen. Behold. <laughs> Instead of a jumpsuit. And spoke to you and became a top. Yes. <laughs> I have a top. Yes. Very so. nice. Yeah. Would you like to see me model it? 
Okay, sure. Okay. Yes. Very nice, very cute. I like it. It looks very comfortable to wear and yeah, just really good. Yeah. Really nice. Like it. Now, did you have any difficulty sewing the pattern? You kept saying it was a breeze to work on the fabric. Yeah, no, the, the pattern was easy too. Oh, yeah. well, good. I had no problems with the pattern at all. And it's a self, um, what do they call that? Self based? Self based bodice. Self lined? Self lined? Self lined. Yeah. So, and how'd that work? Good. It was easy. Oh, oh easy, good. easy, easy. Good. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I, it does say easy on the... And it was easy. And it was. <laughs> and that's my calls. And this is my calls. And I think the fit is pretty good, too. I, I uh, put the fit according to my size, and... It worked. I think it's it's fine, yeah. It worked. Great. Yeah. Okay. So I recommend this pattern. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. good. All right, you want me to talk about mine? Let's talk about your pattern. I made New Look 6298. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cute, cute, and cute. it is, does, oh, and it does say easy for knits, which the pattern itself was an easy pattern. It was an easy pattern to follow. Although I had problems with the entire outfit <laughs> with this top. <laughs> From day one. First of all, I'm going to go into the fit because okay. that is what upsets me the most about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, the fit I took and made uh, for the bus size 34, which my bus size is four inches larger than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the fit size was a bust 38. So I thought, okay, that'd be fine. But should okay, that should be fine. Mm -hmm. Should be good. Well, it's huge. It's huge here. I know it's raglan sleeve and it's a little bit bigger, but it's just huge. And the neckline, the, the neckline lays way too, it's too large on me. It's just big. It's just too big on me. So um, I'm going to try to make this again, only I'm going to make it in a smaller size. Right. Yeah, I made it in the 12 and I'm going to go down to the 10, which is a smaller bus size. So I'm really disappointed with it for, for that, from the fit. Yeah. It was an easy sew. Did you Although take, I have, what? Did mm -hmm. you take it in a little even after? Or no, this is exactly no, the pattern. No, this is the pattern. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So anyway, but this top should have taken me two days max to make because it was right. easy. I mean, that's like I cut out one day usually and then I sewed up the next. Right. It took me over a week to do this. I couldn't get my sewing machine to stitch right to begin with. So I, you know, I re-threaded it, I don't know how many times. Then I changed the needle several times and I finally, I got the book out <laughs> to see what needle to put in there. And I put in the size needle for Jersey Knits made a world of difference in it. So yeah. that's what I did that, that made the stitching. But then my sewing machine decided to eat some of the oh, fabric and it went that. way down into the thread, no, feed dogs, down mm -hmm. into the feed dogs. And because my sewing machine is new for me, I don't didn't know how to take it apart. So everything, mm -hmm. you know, it's like get the book out, had to tear everything apart. Fortunately, I did not have to cut the fabric. I ended up jiggling it out. Okay. I did end up with a little teeny tiny, a little teeny tiny hole in the pocket. Shows? Well, the hole is not there, but oh. you don't have a nice point there on that pocket. This oh. pocket has a nice point. I don't oh. know if you can see that. This one's kind of rounded and a little raggedy, 
<laughs> but it works. And the pockets were the first thing that I put on, and it took me like three days to get the oh, pockets no. on. It was oh, no. terrible. <laughs> but yeah, just sewing under the, the top uh, portion that you fold under the pocket so you have that edging there. You know, if you can see that, yeah, you can see that. So anyway, um, the fabric and I had some issues. I love the fabric. I oh, love the feel so of good. it. And this is from fabric.com. We just got this a few weeks ago. I yeah. think you, you may remember seeing this in our fabric yeah. bundle that we got. And I absolutely love it. But as you will see, when I model this, and then Dory's going to model it, you'll see who it fits better. And I think she's going to get it. I was going to do some alterations on it, but there's so much. I don't like to alter. You know, once it's made... I don't like to alter. And and unfortunately, on Annie, when I put it on her, you know, it doesn't really have any arms. Oh, so I couldn't really could tell. See. I couldn't tell. It looked like it was going to fit all right, and it laid okay on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I haven't remeasured that. I haven't remeasured myself and changed her. And there's been some changes in my shape. So I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway... Um, just beware this sews up larger than what it says. And of course, I always have this thing they used to tell you if it was loose fitting or snug fitting. They don't tell you that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really do miss that because you can't tell by the drawings, by the pictures, whether it's loose or snug or whatever. <laughs> It's interesting because it does fit me pretty good and I would have never made that small of a size. That's right. If you would have went according to your measurements, yeah. you would have been up, what, one or two sizes? Yeah, one size. One size? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So that would have been, yeah. It would have been way too big for me. It would have been big for you. Yeah. yeah. And even, I mean, look at this for a size 12 and in this, this style, I would expect it to be a little snugger fit for the arms. The length is perfect, though. <laughs> well, what a nice surprise for me, though, to yeah. arrive here and say, hey. I was like, you, you might as well have it. Woohoo! I'll be wearing it. But I want I want the fabric back. I want not this fabric, but I'm like, <laughs> in exchange. I made this for you. Now you give me two yards of fabric That somewhere. sounds like a great deal for me. <laughs> now, our challenge was to embellish. Oh, yeah. And as you notice, there's no embellishment. Nothing here. But what I wanted to do was maybe put... A button on, on the pocket. That would be cute. Right there. Let me see. I'll be right back. She's coming back. Do I have a button? Do you have that blue one there? That's so pretty. Yeah, I have this one. I have just one. I have one of these. And I thought this periwinkle blue. Oh, is and that if pretty? I put that there, that would be cute on the pockets because they do kind of sag a little sag a little bit. And you know, I thought, well, if I put a little pleat in there and then put that button on there, that would be cute. Well, I'll have to see if I have any at home. You will. That will be that color. Or you could do, I was thinking of some periwinkle. Sorry, I didn't have anything ready here, did I? <laughs> this is binding, so I didn't want to use this. But if you had ribbon, you could make a little bow. Here's my mock bow. I can't, I'm not very good at this. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I need to be positive. That's right. So if you made a little bow and put a little bow on it, it would be cute yeah. on the pockets. Or you could put a little bow on the on, mm -hmm, the, sleeves, on the sleeves, and that would be cute. So that was my embellishment. My husband, my husband, you, when I told him I didn't do, meet the challenge, he says, "Just go get some lace and sew lace all over there." I'm like, "No, I'm not going to do that." <laughs> yeah, it looked like pajamas. Like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, yours looks cute. It doesn't look like pajamas because you fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah. So, yes. so there you go. That's that was our uh, that was my interesting week with the pattern that should have just took me 
took forever. Well, I had it. I, it was a good learning experience. And I appreciate the surprise. Now, I have a surprise for you. Uh-oh. Oh. It's not. Uh-oh. It's a positivity. I, yeah, where's my positivity there? Yeah. So oh, no. We've surprise. been going through some of my oh. my mom's estate. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, still. Still. <laughs> yeah. And she, I found this. I would have never, I was like, what in the world is this? In this can, you read, can you read the note? Uh, or you want me to read it? You can read it. It I says, I, my, I need vision check. I made this in the early 50s and wore it once to a school prom. Then the dress was sent to Poland to um, oh. mm. to um, my dad's family for a wedding dress. Oh, cool. And so here it is. <gasps> oh, wow. It's right here. Look at this. Oh, my word. Is this not the coolest thing? So mom went to the prom? Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but here, um, hold that and show them, and I'll tell you the number, because I had to look to find the number. I was going to say, the it's envelope just, has really been used. Oh, and the line drawings are really good there on it. Yeah, yes. It's kind of hard. This is old. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a Cinderella. It looks like a Cinderella. It looks like a Cinderella dress. <laughs> it is 2964. Is it Simplicity, I think, right? Simplicity, I think, on the front. Yeah, Simplicity. It's a simplicity. Simplicity, 2964. Yeah. But isn't oh, that cool? And look at the line drawings on the back. There you go. There's the line drawings for that. And let me see how much yardage. Did she see the notes? Oh, she didn't even... Oh, she had notes on there? Well, no, I mean... Oh, there are notes on there. <laughs> what notes? Okay, yeah. it was... Oh, and it's a skirt. You can do just the skirt. Oh, that's the uh, sheer that goes over it. Oh, that ties on there. Isn't it cool? Oh, yeah, my there's word. an overskirt that says style one dress, overskirt, stole. There's a stole. Oh, wow. So this is cool. And I we have all the pattern pieces here, I think. Wow. So I just thought that would be a nice surprise to show you. Oh, my word. Yeah. Mama must have been really tiny. She because... was really tiny. I would I would say, oh, we should each make ourselves one. But yeah, it doesn't even come up. At, I don't even begin uh, to fit into it. Me neither. Yeah, back then they had the waist that, you know, they could put their... You could go like this, and it would be your waist size. Yeah, oh my word. You're like this, and you can't get my waist. Yeah, you're talking a bust for a size for a size 15. They got, a, what, the patterns are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I would imagine 16 and, oh, up to an 18. Let's see what an 18 is. A size 18 is a 36-inch bust. Sizes have changed. They have. And a size 11 Oh, a 29-inch buzz. Oh, How much is the waist in the size Oh, of let's see. 24 and a half inches. 24 and a half inch waist. Yeah, mine's like double that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, and lots of fabric. You know, if you did yeah. a size 12, six and a half yards of 35-inch. 35-inch fabric. Yeah, and it went clear up to 41-inch uh, fabric, which is required six and a quarter yards. Wow. How yeah. cool though! Yeah, to find this, and it was just you—you you know where it was stuck in. But <laughs> we've been laughing about how my mom stored things. Oh yeah, it oh, was in with the comic books. <laughs> Maybe she was thinking about our saying: "When you love and laugh abundantly, <laughs> yeah, you have a beautiful." Life. Go figure. But you know what I like about what? What did I do with it? Where'd it go? Oh no! Yeah, here it is. <gasps> That's probably why she's stuck in the comic books. <laughs> Is the pattern pieces, look at how basic those are. Yeah. Extremely basic, just rectangles is what they are. And then this bodice and the stole. And yet it made up into such a beautiful dress. And someday, I'm not, it's not going to be with this video, I will find the picture of her in that dress. You think we still have it? I do. Got, you I do. I do. I think I have it at home. But wow. it would take me a long time to go through the photos to find it. <laughs> Mom was a picture taker. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very cute. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you keep that. Safe keeping. Don't put it in the comic books. Right. <laughs> we each had a nice surprise today. Right? Yes, we did. Very nice. So, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. We love to hear from you guys. Oh, we do. We enjoy reading our comments and all your suggestions. It's great. Yeah. So, so see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a great day.